Hello, this is Dr. Nimichek, and I want to review for you our uh, small pilot trial we're going to do in uh, chronic COVID-19 long haulers. As many of you are aware, there's a very high rate of chronic symptoms after COVID-19. Uh, estimates range anywhere from 30 to 50 percent of people who had symptomatic infections still will have chronic symptoms after three months. Uh, you could categorize many of the symptoms uh, emanating from either brain, lungs, or heart. As you can see here, brain can lead to fatigue, lightheaded sensation, headaches, the brain fog, anxiety, depression, and the well-known loss of smell in the lungs. You have fatigue also, uh, short of breath, chronic cough, some chest pain, and then the heart can also cause fatigue, uh, obvious cardiac chest pain, palpitations, and racing pulse. The reason for such a wide variety of symptoms is felt to be due to the uh, COVID cytokine storm. This is a surge of inflammatory uh, chemicals called cytokines, and as you can see, they can lead to excessive blood clotting, uh, vascular collapse and shock, lung injury, heart damage, damage to the central nervous system, as well as kidney failure. And in the most severe patients, you have uh, immune failure, organ failure, secondary infection, and a high rate of death. The chronic symptoms are felt to be a result of this same cytokine damage, just at a lesser degree. So you have those tissue damage cytokines, maybe not necessarily classified as a cytokine storm, but they still can cause clots and shock and lung injury, heart damage, kidney failure. And what we're going to be focusing on in our pilot trial is central nervous system damage resulting in dysautonomia or dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system. The process goes like this. This increased chronic inflammation is now understood to impair, for instance, stem cell function as well as the body's natural tissue repair function. That in turn leads to chronic tissue damage and symptoms. And whether that tissue damage is in the heart, the brain, or the lungs, you can have particular symptoms from emanating from that organ. What we're proposing is vagus nerve stimulation to help regulate this inflammation. So the vagus nerve actually has two fibers, some going up and some going down, and they are responsible for regulating uh, the majority of the body's immune system and inflammatory response. What is understood now is electrical stimulation of the afferent fibers, the ones that go up to the head, actually will stimulate the central autonomic network leading to a downward uh, efferent fiber signaling and that through to the spleen, the lung, and the intestinal tract will lower inflammation and reduce the production of these cytokines. What we hope happens uh, in this, in COVID, is we have a decrease in chronic inflammation. This in turn leads to improved stem cell and uh, repair mechanism function as well, then tissue repairs and symptoms lessen. Our pilot trial is quite simple. Uh, we're going to have just five minutes of transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation uh, every eight hours for 28 days. We're going to test uh, autonomic function by survey and spectral analysis before and after that 28-day period. We're looking initially for just 10 subjects. They have to have prior uh, SARS infection, obviously, and symptoms greater than 60 days from outset. Our website has more of the inclusion and exclusion criteria. Primary outcome measures are just symptom improvement and objective improvement in autonomic functioning. The measurements of autonomic functioning, uh, as I mentioned, they'll be before, done before and after four weeks of therapy. There is a 22-question uh, survey, symptom survey we're going to do, as well as spectral analysis, which is, you can see by this device here, it's simply a three-lead EKG that you get when somebody, say, is being monitored in the emergency room. Uh, it's associated, there's a blood pressure cuff, and what this does is this detects and measures the autonomic signals given off by the heart through that EKG signal. 
and then we can interpret that and determine if things are improving or worsening. Uh, it's a FDA approved device. Uh, the technology is quite advanced. It's been around for now almost 20 years. Uh, there's no medications, no needles, it's painless, and it uh, just takes about 20 minutes. It's very simple. Now, transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation. The, as I mentioned before, the vagus nerve regulates inflammation. You can improve inflama inflammation regulation by stimulating the vagus nerve in a particular way. Now, fortunately, the nerve comes right up to the ear, and you can see in this subject here, she has a clip on the tragus of her ear. That uh, The vagus nerve comes right up under the central part of the ear. And a little five-minute treatment three times a day will have rather profound effects on lowering inflammation. It's very safe. The It's a FDA treatment uh, for epilepsy and depression. And uh, the current... Uh, you do not is so mild you, the user will not feel it at all. We're going to be using a Vitality Smart Cable Stimulator that's commercially available on the market as a consumer wellness product uh, for our study. For more study enrollment information, you can go to nimichaconsultativemedicine.com/longhauler or look under the COVID uh, tab at the top of the screen. There you'll find instructions, uh, more details on the study, as well as how to enroll in the study. Thank you very much.